What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Small Biz on this Monday afternoon. Last trade on MCOM 0261. The obvious question of this day is, is any of this a surprise? Or did we know they were going to jack up the float to a billion shares and there was a possibility of a massive reverse split? And is it really true that you, yes, you, could have had access to 37 winners in the last two months alone? All that and more coming right out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 0266, uh, apparently Mullen, last trade, 19 and small change, has got a battery plant in California. You saw a bump to close to 22. You've given most of it back as the small caps once again are weak. But I want to spend the bulk of my time today talking about micro mobility, MCOM, formerly known as Hellbiz, which inside of the Discord, Along with Mullen now is a red. It's a don't touch. I haven't bought any MCOM in almost two months. I haven't bought any Mullen since 25 and a half cents several weeks ago. But I want to start off by stating what should be very fucking obvious to everybody who's watching right now, regardless of what your fucking feelings are. None of this is a surprise. How many videos did we do talking about a proxy to jack the float up to a billion shares and the possibility of a massive reverse split? Now, he just came out with news saying that they did a $4 million convertible note with uh, Yorkville that doesn't convert until a quarter. They've done that before. Yorkville's got a lot of convertible notes that they're not going to get paid on until the stock gets up and around 25 cents. But the vast majority of the SEPA, they pretty much just dumped onto the market. But none of this should be a fucking surprise. And what really gets my craw, and some of you are going to have a hard time dealing with this fucking video, is none of this would matter. Not the MCOM, not the Mullen, if you'd be listening to not some, but all of my fucking advice. We had another 27% winner today. We had one of 28% on Friday. Two days before that, we had 31. Three days before that was 47. There's been a dozen core holding winners triple digit gains and we've had 27 for those of you that got in to 10x tenx i said leave it alone at 36 it went all the way down to 14 and hit as high as 70 cents today some of you made three or four times on your money but might i remind you it went down 62 percent before i said it was even remotely close to being bottomed out some of you asked me that in a DM. Yeah, I gave it the red circle at 36. It dropped 60 some odd percent before it went 5X. The point is we're stacking cash to the ceiling, but most people are so buried, so up to here in MCOM and uh, Mullen that they don't even hear what the fuck I'm trying to tell them. We've got nine stocks right now. The vast majority are doing just fine. We bought a brand new biotech today at 17 and change. It went up to 20 right after that. No, I wasn't taking it. No, I don't sell on four, five, 6% moves. You get me up 20, 30%. Yeah, I'm pulling the fucking ripcord. But don't anybody fucking tell me that we didn't have yellow and or red circles on both of these fucking stocks for the better part of the last two months. Don't act like you're shocked that Sal, the guy who said last week, we're going to postpone the reverse split now says he's going to do it on December the 4th. If it's me, I'm not buying any more stock. I'm down 70, 75% in both of these names and I'm okay with it. Why am I okay with it? Because I've racked up dozens of fucking winners. Do you realize that we're 51 in three in core holdings since April? Inside of the Discord, we're 27 in two in the ass Jasons. Again, some of you just made three or four times your money scooping the 10X. I could keep going on and on and on and on and on, uh, including the stock we sold this morning, the first letter being H if you're inside of the Discord. Now, some of you didn't get out in time. Whose fault is that? Whose fucking fault is that? Now, I'm going to do a series of short videos that'll explain everything from managing risk, how you might want to set sell limits inside of your uh, brokerage account. I use E-Trade, international brokers or IBD or whatever the fuck they call themselves are fine. You need to have one that lets you trade from 7 a.m. You don't need the Weeble at 4 a.m., but from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. East Coast time. Otherwise, you're really going to miss the boat when they come out with news, as one of our biotechs did, and it 
jump 30% in about five minutes. I pulled the rip cord and then 20 minutes later, I bought the same fucking stock back at exactly the same price as I had it before. But again, if you're inside of the Discord right now, and most of you are not, it's loaded up with negativity. MCOM this, Mullen that. It's like I'm talking to myself. In fact, when I tag everyone in the last half a dozen winners, we get less than 10% that respond. What the hell does that mean? You got your unlubricated thumb up your fucking ass and you're not paying attention to what's going on? Do you realize the last 12 winners racked up over 850% returns in the last two or three months we're not even talking about the ass jason trades which all you have to do is look on the stock chat wall some of you i want to encourage right here right now and it's one of the reasons why uh stripe held 25 percent of my money if you're freaked out if you're absolutely demoralized by the MCOM or the Mullen, if you're going to sit there and fucking complain every time a stock goes up and you don't get out and then it comes back down, get your money back. Get your money back. Go to trysmallbiz.com. Send me a note. Say, this is not for me. You're an asshole. I lost too much money in X, Y, or Z. Whatever it is, as long as it's inside of the first two months and you verify your email, there's a 100% risk money back guarantee for 60 days. For the vast majority of you that are either in there right now or not paying attention, but understand that $50 a month, are you kidding me? These are the only two real losses that we've had in terms of size and magnitude for almost two years. We took 16 losses, but the average loss was 18.2%. We've racked up over 180 in core holdings winners. Do the math. If you're making close to 30% on your winners and less than 20%, less than 20% of the time on your losers, you're stacking cash to the fucking ceiling. You're begging for losses like this on paper. I don't need to sell them right now. I'm not selling them right now. Some of you sold today. Some of you sold uh, yesterday. Some of you sold two weeks some of you will sell in a week you have to make a decision on what's best for you your business and or your family but for the love of god all fucking mighty himself when you're right close to 85 to 95 percent of the time and you're racking up 30 percent on average winners in some cases in a matter of a day or two and all you really have going back almost two years are two drawdowns of 70 to 75 percent then you are, in fact, in the top one quarter of 1% world-fucking-wide. In closing, get your money back if this is not for you. If you're going to freak out every time a stock goes down 5%, like some of you do on these biotechs. Do you fucking realize that when you have stocks that are $25, $30 inside of a year and we're getting into them within a half to a penny off an all-time fucking low like the one we got in today at 17 cents that shot to 40 the other day and we were buying the retrace? Do you know what the odds are, millions to fucking one, that we can nail a stock down 99.99% from $30 to 15 to 20%? 20 cents it's almost impossible to do that math and yet i've done it over and over and over and over and fucking over again but there are times like right now it seems like i'm talking to myself no one's paying attention no one's getting excited no one realizes that we just racked up 30 some odd fucking winners in two months when the market's not gone anywhere so if you're somebody who's an intermediate player or you're a whale who understands that paying this guy less than $2 a day to rack up almost 20x return since last April, then go to trysmallbiz.com and get a Discord today. Till next time, always remember that I love you and thanks for watching.